Though 2020 has been an undeniably devastating year for the film industry, the uptick in movies going direct to streaming this past year has nevertheless allowed viewers more control than ever over the content they watch. Beyond the obvious convenience factor of watching new Hollywood releases at home, the greater access to high-quality digital versions of the latest movies allowed audiences to immediately hit the freeze frame on moments of interest rather than get home from the cinema and simply read about whatever they missed. But I'd recommend still doing that on WhatCulture.com, eh? While many of 2020's biggest planned releases ultimately ended up getting shuffled into 2021, the past year still didn't leave viewers wanting for fascinating movie moments worthy of a closer examination. With that in mind, I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are the 10 most paused movie moments of 2020. Number 10. The Saw Graffiti – The Invisible Man Lee 1L's The Invisible Man is a film which invites the viewer to scan every piece of negative space in the frame, in search of clues that the titular antagonist may be lingering around. But as a co-creator of the Saw franchise with James Wan, 1L also likes to include sneaky nods to his star-making horror franchise in his newer movies and his latest was certainly no exception. After Cecilia escapes from the psychiatric hospital, causes a car accident and steals the driver's car, a graffiti mural of Saw's iconic mascot, Billy the Puppet, can be seen illuminated on the wall in the background. It's only on screen for mere moments and is easily missed as a result. But once Saw fans heard about the Easter egg online, they no doubt went back en masse to take a quick look. Number 9. Ming-Na Wen's Cameo – Mulan Whatever your feelings about Disney's live-action Mulan remake, the film features one blink-and-you'll-miss-it sliver of fan service for adorers of the original. When Mulan meets the Emperor of China at the end of the film, she's introduced to him by a familiar face, Ming-Na Wen, who provided the voice for Mulan in both of the animated films, as well as the video game Kingdom Hearts 2. Wen is in the film for scarcely 10 seconds while under considerable makeup, so her presence is easily missed if you're not quite paying attention. Still, it's a fitting tribute to Wen's iconic work in the animated original, that she literally stands in front of Ifei Lu and introduces her. Number 8. The Pizza Planet Truck – Onward If you know anything at all about Pixar, you know that they absolutely love to jam-pack their movies full of sneaky easter eggs for fans to seek out. From hints at future movies, to references to the iconic classroom number A113, where many of Pixar's finest cut their teeth or the inclusion of Toy Story's iconic Pizza Planet truck. Indeed, the vehicle has appeared in every single Pixar movie to date, with the exception of The Incredibles, and makes a quick cameo in the studio's latest film, Onward, just as Ian and Barley set off on their epic road trip. As the pair drive through a toll booth, on the right-hand side of the screen, the truck is visible for a moment, distinguished by the instantly recognizable Pizza Planet rocket right on top of it. Number 7. The Final Final Shot – Host Host is undeniably one of the year's most fascinating horror films, a found footage movie produced during lockdown in the middle of the current global health crisis. With a light 56-minute runtime, Host doesn't waste much time on preambles and quickly hurls viewers into a familiar yet well-executed supernatural horror yarn. As predictable as the film's ending sequence might be, it nevertheless delivers one admittedly pants-filling final jump scare when surviving characters Gemma and Haley are attacked out of the darkness by the demon tormenting them. The film ends with a split-second glimpse of the entity lunging forward as the Zoom call timer expires. It's such a fleeting look that few could surely resist the urge to go back and freeze-frame the final jump. The resulting nightmare fuel speaks for itself. Number 6. Is It Tyler? Extraction The Chris Hemsworth-starring Russo Brothers-produced action film Extraction is one of the year's most successful Netflix originals, with an estimated 99 million households watching it in its first month alone. Now that is impressive. It's little surprise then that the Russos are already prepping a sequel because though Hemsworth's protagonist Tyler Rake is shot and falls into a river in the final moments of the movie, the very last shot suggests he's probably still alive. In an eight months later epilogue, Tyler's extraction target Ovi is swimming in a pool when he surfaces and notices a figure in the distance. 
Though the figure is kept out of focus for the final shot, they clearly fit Hemsworth's physique well enough. So it's fair to assume that Tyler survived his injuries and stopped in to check on the kid. But the ambiguity of the shot, nevertheless, left viewers poring over it looking for answers. Curiously, director Sam Hargrave later confessed that the ending was changed following test screenings, where Tyler simply died protecting Ovi, which is just sad. Number 5. London Slash South Africa Bloodshot It's extremely common for movie productions to use location doubling to make one city resemble another typically because it makes more financial and or logistical sense. When location doubling is done well, you never even notice it, though the Vin Diesel starring superhero flick Bloodshot might well feature the most hilariously awful attempt in Hollywood history. Despite a large chunk of the film being set in London, it was primarily shot in South Africa's Cape Town and the Czech Republic's Prague. And so, when it comes to the big mid-film chase through central London, it's clear to anyone with a pair of working eyeballs that they are not looking at London but in fact the streets of Cape Cape Town. Between the obviously not British license plates, police cars, street signs, and architecture, no attempt whatsoever is made to convince audiences that the chase is taking place in London, leaving UK viewers in particular absolutely stunned in the process. Pause any single shot in the sequence and it's riotously obvious it was filmed in another country. Granted, the production was trying to make an effects-heavy superhero flick on a $45 million budget, so they clearly had to prioritize funds elsewhere. Number 4. Michael Bay's Cameo – Bad Boys for Life There were few films more pleasantly surprising in 2020 than Bad Boys for Life, which not only scored solid critical acclaim, but also turned out to be the highest grossing Hollywood release of the entire year. Fancy that. The film boasts its fair share of insane moments, but perhaps nothing more eyebrow-raising than a quick cameo from the director of the first two films, Michael Bay. Bay appears on screen for about 20 seconds as the MC at the wedding of Marcus's daughter, Megan, introducing Mike to the assembled guests. It's a totally unassuming cameo if you don't know what Bay looks like, but hilariously distracting if you do. Bay also previously made a less conspicuous cameo in the second film as the hat-wearing driver of a jalopy car that Marcus briefly attempted to hijack. Loves the cameo up here, don't he? Number 3. Rufus's Hologram – Bill and Ted Face the Music One of the unfortunate consequences of the third Bill and Ted movie taking so long to come to fruition is that George Carlin, who played the duo's time-traveling guide Rufus, passed away back in 2008, ensuring he couldn't physically appear in the threequel. But the film nevertheless included an affectionate tribute to the late beloved actor and comedian by having Bill and Ted encounter a hologram of Rufus when they arrive in the future early in the film. The brief glimpse of Rufus isn't anything more than recycled footage from the two previous films with a vocal impersonation by Piot Michael welcoming the duo to the future. But it nevertheless ensured Rufus wasn't forgotten in death. Fans no doubt had to slam the pause button to see for themselves whether the footage was repurposed from existing material or a CGI recreation, which tends to be all the rage right now. Number 2. Neil in the Opera House – Tenet Despite being mounted as a film which needed to be seen on the big screen, Christopher Nolan's Tenet absolutely commanded repeat viewings, which wasn't exactly the most practical option in 2020. And so, with its recent home video release, Tenet will probably end up the single most paused and re-round movie of 2020. Though there are literally dozens of fleeting details to take in, the single most pause-worthy moment is surely the secret cameo by Robert Pattinson in the film's opening Kiev opera set piece. Just as the protagonist is about to be shot dead by an enemy combatant, he's saved by a fellow soldier who unshoots a bullet through the man. Crucially, the mysterious savior has a fully blacked-out mask. And when he takes leave of the protagonist, Nolan briefly focuses on a red tag tied to his backpack. At the time, the audience doesn't know the significance of this tag. But at film's end, we see that Neil wears the very same tag on his backpack, confirming that he was the soldier who saved the protagonist all along. 
Sadly though, you can't see Pattinson's face behind the black mask no matter how hard you squint. This all of course ties into the climactic reveal that the protagonist recruited Neil years earlier from his own inverse perspective, allowing him to come to his aid. You know what, this movie still gives me a headache, but I'm probably going to go back and watch it very, very soon. Number 1. Rudy Giuliani Whips It Out Borat's subsequent movie film Borat's subsequent movie film shocked audiences like no other film in 2020, and by far its most headline-grabbing scene was an outrageous sequence involving former New York mayor and Donald Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani. Borat arranges for his teenage daughter, Tuta, to interview Giuliani in an attempt to seduce him, leading to the wildly embarrassing scene where Giuliani is seen to lie on a bed and place his hand down his pants, before a disguised Borat enters the room to break things up. Though it's clear to anyone with much knowledge of film editing that the scene has been stitched together to create as unflattering a portrayal of Giuliani as possible, it nevertheless left many pausing the pivotal hand-down-pants moment to decide for themselves if he really was preparing to whip it out in front of Tuta. We can all agree on one thing though, 2020 was bloody weird. And that's our list. Know of any other highly paused moments of 2020? Let us know all about them in the comments section below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and click on some more incredible articles just like the one this video is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you very much for watching, and have an incredible 2021. You deserve it.